Well, of course, uh, the big, one of the big matches this weekend is the monster football final between Cork and Kerry and Killarney. And I don't know what you guys think, but I, I just feel Cork and Kerry, we haven't seen Cork and Kerry for, for some time. Were we, the, Cork and Kerry kind of coming out to this match in under the radar as such, particularly Kerry. They were, Marty, actually, until yesterday when they decided to name their team and they dropped Kieran Donny, and now it's all we're talking about. Mm. Um, so that's, that's, that's quite interesting because I guess Cork have been qu playing quite negative um, recently and the obvious thing would have been to leave Kieran Donaghy in there and to try and combat that, but they've decided to drop him and they've brought in Darren O'Sullivan. So that makes it um, quite interesting um, with regards to what way they're going to line up. Um, you know, is Darren going to go out the field and go after the ball? Are they going to play two inside? So all of a sudden now, like, they're, they're back in the spotlight. And isn't it funny, Marie, that Kerry felt obliged to announce the team because of the impact of social media? Yeah, I've never heard of that before, but um, I saw today that the chairman of the county board um, revealed that they hadn't planned to announce their team until tonight but because there was um, leaks on social networks and he felt that because of this that players would be um, annoyed by people asking them what was going on and that you mm. know just with, to, out of respect for the players themselves that they would just announce it take the pressure off. Kerry are, they're a bit like Kilkenny DJ they've been on the road they've been very successful the long road what impact does that have mentally and physically on, on our squad of players? Well, I suppose, you know, when you're on the road a long time, uh, it has to take a certain toll. Um, the only thing is Kerry have been producing, you know, the odd fella like a Kenny every now and mm. again that, that does come in. And, uh, you know, but I suppose the Munster campaign, it's, it's been low key, especially with Donegal being All-Ireland champions and then Dublin producing a display last Sunday. It's been pretty low key down there. But, yeah, there's, there's mileage, a lot of mileage on the clock, which can't be playing matches. And, mm. uh, you know, it's the, the more matches you can play, it's certainly, you know, a big difference in training. Cork had an easy enough win uh, over your county, over Limerick. What impressed you most about this particular Cork team? And there's no complacency. I can tell you that they were absolutely in the zone against us. Um, very, very determined. And they, they got three goals. In, like, in seven minutes the game was over and that was in the first half. I was impressed with some of their younger players, Damien Cahillan and the wing back, I forget Tom Clancy, and their, their young fella, Hurley, is it the full Ryan, forward? Ryan yeah, Hurley. Know, yeah. They're very, very good. Yeah. Now, they have a lot of players, something similar to Dublin. Now, they have a lot of, a lot of uh, quite a good squad. Um, you know, they'll be well in there, thereabouts this weekend. Again, we haven't seen them in ages. They had it easy against us and against Clare. T Kerry had it easy against T Tip and Waterford. So you just don't know what way they're going to be. Mm. It's a plus that it's on in, in Killarney for Kerry. But then again, um, you know, like Kerry are missing Donaghy, so you don't know what way it's going to go. You really mm. don't. Mm. Um, I still might fancy Cork by a couple of points, but just about. What about the role of Cullum Cooper? Because we've used him at corner forward. We saw him playing with Dr. Croke so impressively on the 40. He's on the 40 with Kerry. What impact does that have? Well, he's going to be a playmaker out there, you know, and he can also take scores. But he'll, like, he's got the experience too, so you know, he, he'll know exactly what to do. I'm sure they'll have a plan. Um, you know, they've definitely got something up their sleeve. We have to find out what it is. You know, is Cullum Cooper going to be part of that? But, you know... When you have a player like that, he's going to attract attention as well. You know, he's going to take some players, um, you know, some of the key players out of the back to, to focus on him, and that will free up everywhere else. Who do you think is going to win this monster title, Murray? I'm going to go with the draw. Uh, <laughs> there's been four draws out of the last seven <laughs> meetings, so uh, I'm going to go with the draw. Okay. What about you, DJ? From a, a neutral perspective, I always support a Kerry from a young fella, and mm. uh, I, I, I go for Kerry. And Kerry. So we've caught Kerry in a draw. Yeah.